Good morning, baby boy. <laughs> no, it's so cute. Hello. Did you have a good sleep? <laughs> good morning, everybody. Happy November. It's the 2nd of November today, which means one thing and one thing only. Michael Bublé is well and truly defrosting. No, oh, he's, fro he's frozen still. No, he's chilled. No. <laughs> is he no, this way? Basil, stop it. Isn't he? Oh, oh look at him. It's a little frowned head. Basil. Wow, look at Biscuit in the camera. He's just chilling. That's what's pinned me down. Basil. Yeah, so it calls for one thing this morning. Biscuit, your first quiz. Let's read all of the Michael Bublé songs. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, look at it. Take Christmas a look at the five and ten. Do you know, do you know one thing I will say? Again, You're lucky I'm not a November the 1st Christmas decoration person because a lot no, of people are. That, no, Who's put their Christmas decorations no, up already? No, you're not going to see any Christmas decorations. Yet. No, trust me, all over my TikTok, at the moment, is those three, you throw a decoration in, you go fire in the hole, and then shut the door, go and you open it, and it goes deck the house with bows, and it's all Christmas. Mm. If I could, I would do that, but our tree would die because we use a real one, so. Yep, yeah, that'll be Vlogmas day one or two. Yeah. Also, I just wanted to read you. I wrote a list yesterday of all my favourite things in November on my caption and it made me so excited for the month. So if you want some November excitement. So I put watching Christmas films early, hot chocolate every evening. I'm going to have one this evening. Ugg boot season, even though I don't have any Ugg boots. <laughs> I really want some Ugg boots but they're sold out everywhere. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, starts early this year, it actually starts on Saturday. We have to watch that together, won't we? I'm a celebrity. Lash bath, bomb baths. Although, <laughs> the other day, I had a lash bath, bomb bath, and I think it gave me, like, minor thrush. Okay, yeah, nice. Okay. It doesn't usually, but I have heard that happens to some people. I think it was just a dodgy one. It was a mummy, so... John Lewis Christmas ad comes out. That should be very soon. Christmas lights switch on. That's really exciting. Fireworks night. I think we're going to go watch fireworks on Saturday with Carl, aren't we? Mm -hmm. New Santa Claus film series starts. So the new Santa Claus, well, the Santa Claus films were my favourite Christmas films when I was a kid. And they're doing a series on Disney Plus this year, which I'm so excited about. Sunday afternoons baking and magic radio goes 100% Christmas. Do you know what I tried to do last night before we went to bed? What? But failed. I tried to change our alarm radio to heart Christmas, but it wouldn't work. I don't think it works on that clock. Because magic, no, What's heart Christmas is? already is already all Christmas, but oh, it didn't work. But magic goes 100% Christmas soon too, and, and that was always what I used to listen to in my Beatles, because I only have like three radio stations in there. <laughs> No sort it out, don't you worry. On a final, night or nice. Come here, Blue. Oh, she wants a cuddle too. These two get so jealous of each other, it's so funny. If one of them's being cuddled, the other one's over there like... <laughs> There's plenty of room for both of you in our hearts. <laughs> All of the wrinkly mouths. I've not got a wrinkly mouth. <laughs> Right, coffee time. Coffee time! <laughs> He's so excited by the dog over there. Yeah. Basil! It's just the doggy. Right, I've got to take you outside. He wants to go say hi. <laughs> oh, poor little Baz. Down the naughty step. <laughs> the bakery is his favourite place in the world, so he must be dying in there. He's a bit of a meltdown today, though, isn't he? <laughs> Faz, what's going on with your eye, babe? <laughs> that's <laughs> one eye Joe. That's what he said. <laughs> this is my favourite coffee I've ever had in my entire life. 
they've got this new pumpkin spice it doesn't look as good now but it's a new pumpkin spice coffee that they do at our local bakery but they sprinkle bits of gingerbread on top with a bit of cream and all of the milky foam it's so so good i'm gonna be so sad when they stop doing it but apparently they're switching it to gingerbread for christmas which i'm not mad about i will definitely be having that as well but yeah we're out on our morning dog walk the wellies are back out and about know what that means it's, it's basically Christmas. Muddy. It's muddy. <laughs> poop bag. <laughs> Swinging a poop bag about. Hello, Sky. Christmas. Oh, what's on the agenda? Guys, it's on. <gasps> this is the first time I've watched it this year. And it just does the thing where it shakes in the middle. What do you mean? You know, like it's telling you Oh, I just love this. This is literally my favourite Christmas thing to watch, I think, of all time. The Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. Oops, there's two. <laughs> anyway, good morning, guys. I'm a bit more awake now. I was <laughs> so half asleep this morning when I was speaking to you, so I'm sorry if it was all a bit of a slur of tiredness <laughs> i'm actually feeling really tired today i don't know why i had one of those sleeps where it feels like you were never really asleep you know like when you wake up so often and every time you look at the clock you're kind of like have i been asleep or have i been awake this whole time like i remember looking at the clock at like half 12 then it was two then it was half three then it was four i don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> But it just felt like I hadn't slept at all and I was awake the whole time, but I kind of feel like I was in a light sleep. But anyway, <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy today. But I promise also I am not going to just talk about Christmas throughout this whole video. Although I do feel like when the clock strikes November, it feels like it's quite close. And actually yesterday I was looking at how long it is till Christmas. It's like just under eight weeks. And I think that is when in love actually they start you know they do like eight weeks till christmas seven weeks till christmas throughout the film i think it starts at eight weeks which means i can start watching it that's always my rule to myself that i can't start watching it until it's like the countdown begin time in real life as well if that makes sense <laughs> Anyway, there is one other Christmas thing I am going to chat to you about today because this section of the video is actually in partnership with Abbott Lyon, which is so exciting. They do the most gorgeous jewellery ever, such good quality. And also the reason why I love Abbott Lyon is it doesn't go green. So it is waterproof and it doesn't, you know, go all horrible and just because I wear my jewellery like all the time, I never really take it off. And because I go to the gym and I sweat. And I mean, I should maybe take off my jewelry sometimes when I train because my necklace does sometimes whack me in the face when I'm sprinting. <laughs> but I just never really do. I always keep my jewelry on. So um, yeah, it's great because it doesn't go green. So I am gonna chat to you about some of my favorite pieces that are quite new to Abbott Lion. Um, and also they actually are the most incredible Christmas gift to give. So one of my favorite things ever to give at Christmas is a personalized necklace. And that is the other thing that they are just great at. And if you know me well, <laughs> I think I have worn a name necklace now for probably the past five years. It kind of varies. Sometimes it says Niall, <laughs> sometimes it says Megan, sometimes it's an initial. At the moment, actually, I've got this really cute, this one, look how cute it says Bluebell. I don't know if you could probably see, but look. <laughs> I'm gonna be that crazy mum that has all of their kids and pets tattooed or in jewelry on them. <laughs> Such a big selection of personalized jewelry that you can get, which I am just obsessed with. I think everybody loves a name necklace now, don't they? And actually this other necklace I have on at the moment too is from Abbott Lyons. So you can like mix and match and stack. That's the other thing I love to do is I usually always wear more than one necklace and they've just got some really, really pretty like different I mean also another one that would be really nice here is just like a plain gold chain so I wear gold but obviously if you don't wear gold they do have silver as an option as well but I feel like a little gold chain there as a third would look really really nice um, and also actually my earrings I have in at the moment are also from Abbott Lyon so if you can see we've got some really cute little gold huggies and then I've got these twist 
hoops in as well. Gold hoops, I think, are just always my go-to with earrings. So, yeah, they've got some really, really nice options. But I'm just going to quickly show you a few other bits that I have. And actually, they're all in their gorgeous packaging. So it's just really nice and kind of plain, very chic. And just, I don't know, it just looks really expensive and high quality. So let's have a look. Oh, we've got this gorgeous little Megan bracelet. <laughs> I can show you, can you see? Do you know what, their bracelets also are completely adjustable. If you look, you can pull this like this. So I've actually got on an N and Niles birthstone. So they do lots of birthstones as well, which is really nice. So I've got N for Nile and his birthstone, which is December. And these ones are also adjustable, which is really, really handy because I feel like that's the thing with bracelets. If you buy like a metal one, sometimes it can be hard to know whether they're gonna fit your wrist. I don't know, I feel like <laughs> it's not like you have a size wrist, like you have a size for rings and things like that. So yeah, just something that is really handy that Abbott Lion do. We also have these gorgeous hoop earrings. So they've got loads of the kind of gold hoop twisty options which again are my favorite i love a gold hoop okay and the last piece which i'm going to show you is this gorgeous little ring it actually kind of matches the little birthstone heart here but um if you see how cute is that it's so cute i was actually gonna put this one on today but because i'm gonna go to the gym after the one thing I do usually take off is my rings because when I am lifting weights, I don't want to scratch them. So I do actually take off my engagement and wedding ring usually when I train as well. So yeah, those are my pieces that I picked up from Abbott Lion. I'm so excited to be working with them. They just have the most gorgeous jewelry. And if you're looking for a Christmas gift idea, name necklace. I feel like they have so many different options as well and can make it so unique to you and whoever you're giving a gift to. Name necklace is such a good idea and everybody likes name necklaces I feel these days. So yeah. Anyway, I will leave everything linked in the description box but I am gonna go to the gym now and I'm actually gonna go and do an Aldi food shop. Do you know what I really am? <laughs> I really want to find because they have these pumpkin spice bagels there. Now I don't know if I've missed the mark because it's now November but I'm hoping I can find them. But I'm also gonna do a bit of a shop because I think this evening me and Niall are gonna make dinner together and we wanna make like a, a, some kind of a roast, but we're gonna do it a little bit different and I think we're gonna do it with you. So I need to get all the ingredients for that too and just some other bits and bobs. So yeah, that is the plan. I have my gym outfit on under here too. I've got the bluey cloudy gray leggings on and the olive green top on. I'm gonna go train back, I'm gonna bring you guys, and then we're gonna do a food shop. Just wanted to show you the bluey fit in a little bit better of a, well, just in a full length view, because I feel like these two colors look so nice together. Don't you think? The olive and the gray, love it. Anyway, we are heading to the gym, as I said. I'm basically gonna be doing a back day today and um, I'm still following my Beyond Burst Guide, which I'm absolutely loving because it's been quite a busy few months running Bluey and running Beyond and just, yeah, just everything's been quite busy this month. Been really, really helpful having a plan where your workouts only take 30 to 45 minutes. I absolutely love it and it doesn't like mean your workouts aren't as good because I know some people when we launched this plan were a bit worried that, well, how does it work because you know, is my, are my workouts going to be as effective, etc. But they are. Is today's session. I absolutely love this move so much. <laughs> I've been doing it now, maybe for about a year, the assisted pull-ups where you do it on a barbell. Firstly, if you struggle with pull-ups and you want to learn how to do them, is the best movement to be able to learn to do them. I just think they are so, so great at building your back and I just much prefer doing them than actual pull-ups now too but do you know what I was thinking when I was um just thinking I'm gonna do back today that I just wanted to mention as well how important it is to do upper body sessions and specifically I feel like visually when you build out your back 
your whole figure can look so different. So I naturally have quite like a, my figure's kind of like that. I don't go in and out. I don't have like big hips and a small waist. And since I've really built out my back, specifically my lats and my shoulders as well have also really helped create the illusion along with my glutes and my quads that my waist is smaller without doing anything, you know, silly or I don't really think waist trainers and things like that are a good idea. You can bring your waist in a little bit with fat loss, but I think, yeah, building out the other muscles has really made I mean, I'm still not like, you know, Kylie Jenner, <laughs> but it has given me a lot more of that sort of physique look where I go in and out a little bit more. So do not miss back day. And if you want a good back move, assisted pull-ups. I don't mean like on the machine, I mean the ones on the barbell. And if you find them hard at first, bet, hang on, <laughs> let me see if I can show you properly because I think you're a bit high there. So say you're on a barbell, I would do this in the gym, but I'm still not very confident of just chatting away in the gym by myself. If I'm with Niall or if I'm with Carl, then I'll like chat away in the gym. But I do feel like some people would be like, I'm trying to get on my workout, stop chatting to a camera. <laughs> but I find that, you know, say the barbell was there, if you have, if you do struggle with these, bend the legs more until you get better at them. And if you find them easier, straighten your legs out and it makes it a lot more difficult. So, um, yeah, that's just something that I've discovered because I've wanted to kind of start making them a little bit more advanced. Now I have got better at them over the past year. Now when I straighten out my legs completely, it does make it more difficult. Let's do a little food shop browse. I did a good little shop. It was really nice in there, actually. Haven't been into Aldi for ages. We don't really have one that near us. And Niall does the bigger food shops usually, don't you, because of your yeah. filming stuff. But I had a, I had a great time. I was, it was very relaxing. And you're never going to guess how much all of this cost. How much? £30. Really? There's loads here, too. And there's... And there's washing powder, and washing powder alone. That's, the that's expensive usually, washing powder. Washing powder is usually like, yeah, that's, yeah. What, I'm that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't know what you were saying. I then. burped as I said it. <laughs> How do dogs know that this is the sound of a box of bones? <laughs> Literally, I got this out of the bag, and straight away he knew that it was his dog treats. Too clever. <laughs> so I just thought I'd run you through my yummy food shop. They had some really really nice things in. Some really nice little, where is it that I was very intrigued to try. Look at this. High protein chocolate mousse, 20 grams. That looks so good. So I might have that this evening. But let's just run through some bits. So first up I picked up some Christmas tree decorations. So these are the chocolate ones. I feel really nostalgic because my mum used to put these in the tree and then me and my brothers used to sneak them and eat them <laughs> as soon as they went up. I don't think she still knows that we did that. And then I also saw this on my way in which I wanted to try. This milk cho chocolate apple with honeycomb. Sounds lovely. And we've got some almonds. I actually wanted to get flaked almonds, but they didn't have them. I feel like there's a shortage at the moment because I've been searching for them for ages for my overnight oats. Can't find them, so I'm gonna have to chop these up. Now well, look at my shop. You'll you'll be intrigued by some of this. Then I got some tea bags. So I got some normal and some Earl Grey. I really like Earl Grey. And I also picked these up. I used to drink these in uni, and they're a really easy way to make a nice coffee at home without a coffee machine. So you basically just put just water with that and it, it's got milk in somehow. Or oh, it must be the powdered milk, must not it? Yeah, so I got that one for late night snacks when you're feeling a bit peckish and I never know what to eat. And this is basically um, Crave, but they've called it Craze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got some coconut milk because also I feel like there's a shortage of soya milk. 
Oh, really? Yes. And it's, I can't find any anywhere. I've been looking for like the past week. Resort to the coconuts. I do like coconut, so hopefully that'll be nice in my overnight oats. Then we've got some um, anti back. I think spray, this spray. is. This is a bit like the one we usually get, the method one, but Aldi version. Look, smell it, it smells really nice. And then we've got some veggies for tonight's roast. So we've got carrots, parsnips, and broccoli. We've got some lemons, because I'm going to make some salmon and eggs. We've got some golden yolks. Ooh, love a bit of golden, love a golden yolk. yolk. Look at these. We've got some little yogurt sucky pots. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they're called? Protein as well. Sucky pots. So, what did you say, sucky pouch? I don't think they're called a sucky pot, but... Sucky pouch. Sucky pouch. It's a pouch of sucky. <laughs> this one's mango, super berry and raspberry. Why have you got one of carrots? I thought that sounded cute. I think it's the ones that aren't like quite store ready, but then some people... To be honest. I don't know, I Should think we'll see if there's like really wonky ones in there. Yeah, you have a look for me. That, I mean, that's a very big one for start. <laughs> that's a large camera. That's a very big one. That's a big one. Then we have some <laughs> stuff. Not so big. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like that one's been chomped. Oh dear, this one's... <laughs> no, stop that now. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to work out why they're called wonky camera. Because of the reason you just brought out the three and they're completely different. Oh. No, they're not actually. <laughs> then we've got some, I think these are basically squares and I really like the chocolate ones, so I got them. And I thought I'd try these, which I think are similar to Naked Bars, but um, they're toffee flavour, which I thought would be nice. I couldn't find the pumpkin spice bagels. I even asked the man and he laughed at me and said, Halloween finished two days ago. <laughs> pumpkin spice bagels? Yeah, they had them and I never got to try them. I'm quite sad about it, but have one today with my eggs and salmon. I don't know how that would have gone, but... <laughs> but I got some tiger bread bloomer. This is my favourite bread um, for like toast and stuff. It's really good. It's a nice bread, isn't it? Yeah, tiger bread's so good. It's just nice and soft. Or a poppy seed. Like Love a, a poppy seed or a like tiger. A hug on a cold winter. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we don't need any of that right now. Like Look a at these. Blank, like a cup of hot cocoa. Yeah, we're going to make one of them later. Because look, I got some whipped cream. That's another thing I haven't been able to find for weeks. Really? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's a few things that I've been trying to get, which I just haven't been able to. And we've got these little protein oat pots, which I feel like look really nice. Do you know what? I'm trying out some new breakfasts because I think it is just because I can't find soya milk, but my overnight oats are not the same right now. <laughs> and it's really making me sad. They just have a completely different texture without soya milk. So I've got these for the meantime till I can find some. Um, and I just thought they'd be a good one as well if I do like them to like have on the go. Um, so we've got a chocolate, a mixed berry and a sweet cinnamon. This one sounds really good. And then we've got some chicken thighs for our roast. Well, we are going to make roast, aren't we? We're just yeah. going to do it in a way that's Stream. like suitable for two people. Streamline roast. With yeah, just like a without the fuss when you're not cooking for a family. Because my mum, I was saying to her, my mum always says she loves having roast because she lives by herself. There's no point, or well, she has loads left over. So, mum, if you're watching, we've got you tonight. <laughs> And then also I saw these in the Christmas section and I really wanted to try them because I love cheese and chutney, so. Cheese and chutney? Oh, they're nice. They actually taste like something you eat in front of the telly at Christmas. Do you want to try one? Are you going to be able to do it? No, but... Not with a throw <laughs> like that! <laughs> <laughs> what is it though? Fresh it. It's a cheese and onion chutney bite. Bite? Oh yeah, nice. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself some late lunch and um, I'll see you on the other side. Oh. <laughs> Biscuit, you're living in the past, it's Christmas now. <laughs> Cats like hit something and you're like, who hit that, let's go chase it and then they just get it and then they hit it again. Like, who, <laughs> who hit that? Who hit that? You've got to go chase it and then they just hit it again. Let's see Biscuit. He brought that upstairs last night and then brought it down this morning. I think he actually loves it. I actually, I keep seeing this around the house and 
do often think that it's actually a real spider. They're quite real looking when it's that way around. Come in. <laughs> Has he caught in his mouth? <laughs> It is so dark and it's only like 3 p.m. I kind of love the clocks going back. The clocks went back on the weekend. I loved it on Sunday because <laughs> it was actually during, oh my God, look how orange it is. You can see much more this way around how dark it actually is. <laughs> clocks went back actually the night of our Halloween party. And it was so funny because everyone was up at like, 2 a.m. and suddenly it was 1 a.m. and we were all like, I swear it was 1 a.m. like an hour ago. <laughs> Let me realize. But yeah, I kind of love it. I kind of struggle a little bit with it, but then I also just try and embrace it and just be like, right, we're just gonna get cozy. <laughs> yeah, it's very dark very early in the UK and this peak part of winter. But anyway, I am quickly going to open up this parcel with you. So I did a little bit of an order on SLA The Label, they had their party collection come out last week and I was eyeing up a couple of bits for a while. They just look so nice and I feel like they're just gonna look so, so nice for the next few months to wear on like a snazzy occasion. So I got two outfits and I'm gonna try them on with you. I'm really, really hoping they're okay. So sparkly. I just hope that it's gonna do ju it justice in this light because it. <laughs> How blue it is you can really see how dark it is maybe this isn't the best room to do this in first outfit i picked look how sparkly it is oh, look how sparkly oh wait you can't even properly see it but it, it just like let me do this way around can you see can you see how look at that that's insane i don't know how she found this material but it's Unbelievable. Sarah Ashcroft owns this brand and she's just absolutely smashing it. But their party stuff particularly, I feel like, does look incredible. So this is like a little blazer dress, but it's got these cutouts on the side. Very Hayley Bieber, <laughs> but sparkly. It's kind of like a blue tone in the sparkle, but you really can't see much colour right now when <laughs> the light just keeps changing, sorry. One of the outfits I picked up, and this one I really, really, really wanted, so I'm hoping that it fits well. And the other outfit I picked up was another sparkly one. <laughs> Oversized blazer. So this is the same material. <laughs> Let's turn you around again so you can properly see it. So this one has got, oh my god, look at that. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> So, so cool. I love a blazer at the moment. And then we have the matching trousers. Are kind of like wide leg suit baggy trousers, which I love as well. And we also have a little bralette. Now, because <laughs> I was buying so quickly, firstly, because I thought it was gonna sell out, and secondly, because it was at the exact same time as my Bluey collection launch. And so I was trying to like, keep an eye on my launch but also go on her launch. I accidentally ordered this in an extra extra small. Now luckily my boobs are small so it may be okay. I'm just a bit worried about the back because I don't have like, I've got quite a wide back so I'm just, I would usually go for extra small in a bra like this but we'll see. But yeah, it's just a little three piece sparkly suit. So I'm gonna try them both on. <laughs> So dark. Okay, fit number one. We have the cutout blazer dress. I love this sparkle on this is just amazing. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of my wedding dress. Not the style, <laughs> but the way that I had the sparkles on my wedding dress, which was inspired by the Little Mermaid's dress when she walks out the sea, was this sort of like glimmery, when it hits the light, it just looks really pretty. And it's not like sequin, it's just like shimmer. Oh, this is so nice. And with some heels, I feel like this would be such a nice like little fit. I love it. Right, let's try number two. Okay, fit number two. <laughs> This place is actually so oversized. I didn't go up in size in this because Sarah had actually said that it's very oversized. So this is my usual size small and it's got the really sort of baggy dad fit, which I like. The bralette definitely doesn't fit me. <laughs> it's way, way too tight on my back. I actually feel like I could probably get a small in that. So I think that one's quite small for its size. But 
I like it. <laughs> I need heels and I need to like, I feel like this part of me is snazzy and this part of me just doesn't match right now. And you know when you try on your, your like going out outfit but you haven't done your hair and makeup so you feel absolutely vile. Kind of how I feel right now. <laughs> but I do feel a little bit like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a bit too much for me. I feel like I would wear just the blazer with maybe a little black dress or leather trousers and a little black crop top with it. But I don't know if I feel a little bit like a Christmas cracker like this. <laughs> Slash magician. Who else is obsessed with Taylor's new album? Oh, My favorite. Actually, yeah, you do. Do you know what? The first time I listened to it, oh, where's it gone? First time I listened to it, I wasn't sure, but it's growing on me. It's a grower. I feel like this one is definitely my favorite song. Actually, to be honest, the most popular ones are probably my favorite. And I also like Karma. It was funny, actually. Wait, let me put Karma on. I was in, in um, the gym, now the other day in, at the, in the garden. I can't speak. <laughs> Karma was playing, and the whole time I thought she was saying Connor. And I was thinking, Who's Connor? Her ex Connor must be so pleased. He got a song out of her. <laughs> it sounds like she's saying Connor the whole time. But she does call him a fucking bastard. So. <laughs> anyway, we are just making our roast dinner. Some peeling of the carrots and the parsnips, which are in there. And then we're doing chicken thighs and broccoli and gravy. So just like a mini, mini mashup roast yeah, and, dinner for and two. And the chicken is all just pan roasted, so you just sear the chicken thighs and then you just put it in the oven in the pan. Oh really, you don't roast it? So no, it's not do. roast chicken? No, you roast it in the pan, fry it off and then you just stick it in the oven for like 20 minutes. In that? Yeah. So oh, you need your, one of those ones that goes in the oven then? Just an it? oven proof pan of some sort. It could be cast iron, stainless steel, you know, aluminium, whatever. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right with your metals. You should have got some more chicken thighs, actually. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> that was the only one they had. That Kilogram. You were literally saying we're when, we, when I said smile, I want to make. Yeah, but you said we should make extra and then we can have it as meal. Yeah, back. yeah. Five hundred, half of that would have been enough. <laughs> we were looking at pictures of him as a kitten. I'm gonna pop one on the screen. Actually, his face has got so round. He looks like a rugby ball. Listen. Connor, Connor is a. Oh, that one sounded like karma. I, I just say uh, Sweet like I candy. Say... Connor, doesn't it sound like Connor? Well, I thought it sounded like Connor. <laughs> Man, look, he looks like a rugby ball. So, what are we doing? Uh, seasoning the chicken, got some paprika, salt, pepper. Garlic. Lots of garlic. Olive some, oil. Some thyme. And that's going in there to be pan roasted. Yeah. Is that right? And do that. That's the plan. And then with the veggies, we are going to bake them. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it's all going And then in this the oven. is going in the steamer. Very simple. But then the gravy is the. Well, I am doing crispy parsnips, so you, you coat those in flour and. Oh yeah. Chocolate. Yeah, it's actually it's simple. Nice. Honey roasted. Yeah, you just parboil the parsnips and they're sat there, and then you just put some plain flour on, and then they go a bit crispy in the oven. With honey too. Uh, yeah, honey when they come out of the oven. Lovely jubbly. Dinner is served. It looks really good, doesn't it? Now I'll made my extra pretty because nice I was taking a photo dump pic. You go watch your football, aren't you? Yeah, can't wait. No. <laughs> just said hang on let me just put this down but it's so true no it isn't i think we've had this disagreement before niall literally just said to me just how you find disney cozy that's what i find with football which i just i can't get behind that because football is like outside in the rain disney is fantasy the other thing is football has a christmas um, schedule, which is like everyone looks football to, like, is Boxing not football, Christmassy. Boxing Day football, New Year's Day football. It's literally people that are into football look forward to it. Like, no, 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 to... that is criminal relating football to Christmas. No. I'm not gonna watch football. When, when is... Megan looks forward to putting her feet up and watching Disney all weekend. I think, oh, you know what? I'll just cose up and watch <laughs> football all weekend. 
I just don't think football's cozy. It's just people going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah the you know, you just, you've seen the film a million times, you know how it's going to end. <laughs> football, anyway, I am going to get my laptop because it's Handmaid's Tale new episode day. My favourite day of the week. I've actually seen some of you guys Seriously. watching it on um, stories and it's made me really happy. But yeah, I'm going to watch Handmaid's Tale and eat my roast and probably make a hot chocolate afterwards and that's gonna be our evening isn't it Baz? Oh look at him! Anyway I am gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for watching I hope you're all okay I hope you've enjoyed this vlog <laughs> look at these two <laughs> Phil and Ben no Phil and Grant not Phil and Ben but uh, this is Phil Mitchell <laughs> Got a big round head. Oh, biscuit.